Hey you! It's Sunday morning and something excited has just happened and I'm gonna have to get my Raspberry Pi 1 out. Because this morning Stephen White released Pi 1541 version 1.21 and this time it doesn't only support the Raspberry Pi 3, it also supports the Raspberry Pi 0. But I'm gonna try the Raspberry Pi 1 because it says as a footnote in the in the new release that uh, Raspberry Pi 1 and 2 is also supported although they have uh, a lower core speed than the Raspberry Pi 0 and 3 so uh, it's a bit more difficult to get that working but I'm swapping over the Pi 1541 and I prepared an SD card with a uh, quite a bit of overclocking on it and we'll see if it runs Oh, that's quick. That is very quick. But yeah, it seems like it's running. Let's see that again. Plugging it in. Oh yeah, that's a fast one. So let's bring out uh, the pile of Commodore 64, Exhibit A, and see if we can run something from it. Plugging it in again. All right, load. Uh, mounting the image first. Now load star, comma eight, comma one. It loads. It finishes, and that's that's a working that's a working load. Well done, Stephen White and the team for this. They have also added support for T sixty four files, and those are tape images. And the way it's implemented in the, in the Pi fifteen forty one is quite nifty. You don't have to have any hardware for the tape port. It actually converts it to a disk image, and runs it as a disk might be a problem with compatibility but i like the idea so well done again and see you next time thanks for watching